God's timing virtually never is the same as our. God's sense of good timing is virtually never uh, our sense, and yet all God's delays are brilliant. God's timing is never our timing, and yet it's always brilliant. So this is the God of brilliant delays, first of all. Now Moses is ready. Secondly, and by the way, how do you today, right now, need to apply this? I mean, what, what do you have to apply this aspect of God's uh, character? What, what aspect of your life do you need to apply this aspect of God's character? Where do you need to remember this right now? We also see in this passage that God is a God of fiery reality. Why does God appear as fire? That's what it tells us right in the beginning. The Lord appeared to Moses in flames of fire from within the bush. Why does God choose to appear as fire? Up until now, Moses believed in God, but he'd never actually encountered him. And the God of the Bible is a God that is not someone who you should only believe in in the abstract, but you need to encounter. Now, fire smites the senses, all of them pretty much. I mean, you, with fire, you see its brightness, you feel its heat, you smell the smoke, you hear the roar. It smites, you don't believe in fire, you experience fire. And up until now, Moses had believed in God, but according to Alec Matir, this essentially is Moses' conversion. This is where he went from mental belief into a life-changing encounter. And life-changing is the, is the way you can tell that you've moved from mental belief uh, to a real encounter. Uh, it's one thing to believe that human beings are sinful. It's one thing to believe human beings are sinful. It is another thing completely to be convicted that you're a sinner. It's one thing to believe God, uh, that Jesus died for us. It's another thing to have that fact revolutionize the way you live and actually affect the way you see everything. And Moses went from uh, a life-changing, uh, a mental ascent to a life-changing encounter. Blaise Pascal, brilliant philosopher, French philosopher, in the 17th century had an experience of God. After believing in God, actually writing about God, understanding God, had an experience of God one night. Because it seems like Pascal and Moses, at a certain point, went from simply mentally believing in God to a life-changing encounter with God. Has that happened to you? In fact, you know, that is the most important question that anybody can ask you. And it's an honor that I can do it. Please take the question seriously. He is a God of... Brilliant delays, and secondly, he's a God of fire reality.